Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. How are you doing today? Hello, good evening, teacher. Hello. Good hearing you. What's up? How are you guys? How's everything? Everything good? Very good. Pretty good. All right. All right. It's good to see you. So, um, how are you? How was work today? Is it raining where you where you at? My work work is very. Your work is very what? I'm sorry. You your 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 work is very what? I'm sorry. Very busy. Very busy. Okay. All right. Very good. Very good. Okay. What about you? Um, let's see. Morena, how was your day today? Oh, my day was very relaxed because uh, the day in my job was very easy and not complicated. And we have a little time of available. And you know, I feel very, very comfortable here in my house. And then meanwhile working, uh, watching TV too. <laughs> very nice. relaxed, yes. You're very relaxed? Okay. Yes. All right. I'm very glad to hear that. Very, very glad. Oh, yeah. thank you. All right. Um, anyways, that's that's awesome. Um, let's see, Julissa, how was your day? Good evening. Mm, well, mm, my day is so it was very relaxed too because I'm I'm staying at home for right. the flu. Oh dude, okay, yeah, yeah. You came down with the flu, right? Yes. Right. Right. Yeah, yeah. All right. Well I hope you're you're feeling better. It's Thanks. funny because it has not even rained a lot you know man i felt so happy that it was raining yesterday so so happy you know i miss the rain uh i mean you know it, it sounds good what about you um let's see we got maximo Jaime. what about you maximo how are you doing how was your day today okay he might be driving or something okay so anyways, uh, it's good to see you, ladies and gentlemen, from this flat universe, right? <laughs> um, let's get started, okay? So yesterday, we were talking about, um, yesterday, we were talking about comparatives, right? And we have different types of adjectives, right? So what are the types of comparisons that we can make, guys and girls? What do you think? So what are the what do we do? How do we compare small adjectives? Can you hear me, guys and girls? Hello. I'm gonna ask Jaime. How do we compare small adjectives? Teacher, I'm sorry. I'm driving my home. Oh, you're driving. I'm sorry. Okay, very good. Julissa, how do we compare small adjectives? Sorry, I can hear you. Okay, can you hear me? Can you hear me better now? Can you... Yes, yes. Okay, so I was, I was asking you, how, how can you compare small adjectives? How can I compare? Yes. How can you compare small adjectives? What do we do um, for comparing small adjectives? Um, well, in the sentences, in the exercise. Yeah, in I the think. okay. You're seeing the screen, right? Yes, yes. Okay, you're oh. seeing the presentation. All right, very good. So my question is, right, like, what's the difference between an, uh, a small adjective and a and a long adjective? Oh. What are we comparing. Okay, in a small adjective, we add er, 
mm -hmm. plus then. And in loan adjective, we use uh, more, or the most, et cetera, et cetera. All right, very good, right? More. Now, we're not going to talk about, I mean, we have not talked about the most yet, but that's what we do, okay? All right, so I want you to do something, ladies and gentlemen. All right, so this is from what we learned yesterday. I want you to compare, right, using the adjectives that we got here, right? Thin, difficult, strong, tall, big, clever, funny, intelligent, important. I want you to complete these exercises, okay? Yesterday, you were asking me, well, I heard some things that were not correct. For example, can we do these guys? Uh, can I say Sandy is more thinner than Tamara? Can I say that? It's no, incorrect. We have more. Mm -hmm. <laughs> incorrect. Exactly. No, because it's uh, short, short, short adjective. So it's more thin, right? Is it more thin? No, thinner? no. Thinner. All right, thinner. No. There you go. Thinner, exactly, right? All right. So can I say more fun? Can I say more fun? Yes or no? Yes. Yes, right? Is it yes. the same as is it the same as saying funnier? Is it the same? No. No, right? Okay, very good, very good, okay? So do me a favor. Take a screenshot, please. All right, somebody please take a screenshot. And I want you to send it to the WhatsApp group, okay? Let me know when you have taken the screenshot. Well, I'm, I'm going to check on, I'm going to check the WhatsApp group. All right? So please, somebody because I don't have access from this computer, guys, to the WhatsApp group. So can somebody please send it to the WhatsApp group right now? Take a screenshot and send it to the WhatsApp group. There you go. Thank you. Right now, take a screenshot of this one, too. Very good. Thank you. All right. Now, oh, th this one. This one, too. There, there is the other one, guys. This one is different. So please compare, com take a screenshot of this one and send it to the group. Okay, thank you. Now for this, guys, you're only going to do this part, okay? You are not going to complete this one yet, okay? Not this one, only this part, okay? So I want you to do these two exercises in couples. So you're going to do this one, and you're going to do this one in couples, okay? Basically here, you're going to use if this is ER or more, right? So for example, if you have, let's say that the, the adjective is um, awesome, right? So let's say awesome. Sorry. Awesome, right? Would this be awesomer? Is that correct? Awesomer? No, no. Right? No. Okay, so in this case, the answer would be more, more awesome, awesome. Right? right? If you have something like, um, let's put it in here, okay? If you have the adjective, if, if it's small, right, small, then it's going to be, the answer is going to be smaller, right? All right, so that's what you're going to do. All right, any questions before we get started? No. All right, no. let's get to work, please. Let's go, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Let's go. Okay. Yes, he, here the the official language is in English. <laughs> By number, what's the official language? <laughs> language in English. All right, very good. Ah, okay, okay. I'm okay. I, I'm a, I'm visiting my family in LA. Oh, I'm nice. Ah. Today, 
You yes. are alone. <laughs> a a yes, lot of people I'm speak alone. Spanish there, right? Yes. <laughs> Not like, normally the people. Uh, for example, in the Starbucks, um, in my last vacation, um, I bought a, a, a coffee in English and, and people answer me in Spanish. <laughs> okay. Awesome. Bye. Well. Okay. Exercise. Sandy. Number one. Number Sandy one. is thinner. Is thinner, yes. Number two. French is more difficult than English. It's more difficult, yes. Number three. Thinner, La Roca is... Is a stranger stronger actor in Hollywood? Number four, Harry Potter books are, ah, but 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 is but that is uh, is comparative or is uh, La Roca is La Roca is a the actor. strongest actor, she is a stronger, but it's a stronger. Or is the strongest because it's, it's, that is not comparative, it's superlative. Uh -huh, then, no, uh -huh. La Roca, no, porque dijera da. Uh, that is, no, uh -huh. but he's saying, he's saying La Roca is, you know, uh -huh. the strongest actor in Hollywood, right? Because uh -huh. he's comparing, we're going to get to superlatives, but yeah, that's that's a superlative. Uh -huh. yes. Stronger. Uh -huh. yes. uh -huh. Harry Potter book are more. Interesting. Interesting. The Jungle Book. My friend is taller than me. My friend is taller than okay. me. Yes. The whale. The whale, whale is is bigger animal in the world. I I think that is other superlative. No, but yes, but it's, uh -huh. it's it's bigger. No. It's, it's more hey, ladies and gentlemen i was going to tell you something uh in the first exercise you also have superlatives right we're going to talk about them but if you know the answer of those superlatives already go ahead and you know put them in there all right oh so the, for example the there, there is one that says la roca is right and that should be a superlative yes in the first uh exercise yes we're going to talk about it superlatives in a moment but just so you know uh mm -hmm. there are some questions there are some exercises where you're gonna have to type in the superlatives. Okay. Okay, got it. Okay. Okay. So remember, guys, that there's um in the first exercise we also have a part where you have to use superlatives. Um, so don't forget about those, okay? Uh, teacher, una pregunta. Tell me in English. <laughs> no puedo mantener la conversación, teacher, en inglés. No puedo. Try it. I mean, I don't understand Spanish, so try it. <laughs> try it. <laughs> you have to try, otherwise you're not gonna learn. Okay. Try your best. I'll, I'll help you, okay? Teacher, in exercise two, no. No, understand? You don't understand the exercise two? Yes. All right. Hold on, okay, hold on. Silvia, what's your question, Silvia? Yeah, actually, yeah. no, no, hold no. Hold on, Jaime, give me one second, okay? Let's hear Silvia first. Yes, Silvia, what's your question, Silvia? It's about the exercise two. The exercise two, you mean? You mean yes, I don't get it. Uh, you have to compare, right? So this one, the one I'm showing on screen right now. Uh, 
Ese sí. Oh, so you mean this El one? segundo. Es. You're going to use the comparative version. Only the comparative version, right? You're not going to do this part. So here, what is the answer? Harder or the uh, or more hard? Is it more hard? Is that uh, the answer? No. no. Right? Okay, so you, what, that's what you're going to do, okay? So here, for example, is it more busy? Mm, no. All right. All right, so do you understand the, the exercise now? Sí, 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 entendés el ejercicio ahora. Sí, eh, si solo es de, pero y el otro que es comparar tres o más you're cosas. Gonna, you're not going to do that, you're not going to do that. Eso es lo que les dije al principio, por eso les hice esto, no van a hacer este, right? Ok, es que me voy conectando. All right, Recién. be early please, right? Thank you. Ok, thank you. Very good. ¿En cuál número vamos? Eh, which eh, number? Hello, Alejandro, Julissa. Sometimes I feel very confused with you because I think you are, um, you make only you and don't compare the, the ideas. I don't know. I'm so sorry. No, but... no, no. <laughs> no, sorry. Mis niños me están hablando, pero... Uh, all right, let's let's work let's work on it together, ladies and gentlemen. All right. Yes, I I I can hear you, and you you only um, are quiet. I don't know why. And I asked you, and I feel very loose with you. I don't know with number. Let's let guys let's 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 work on this together. Okay. Did yes. you have a question, Morena? No, 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 no. Right. Solo que I I I'm going to tell you in Spanish. So, me siento okay. perdida porque yo siento que a veces ellos trabajan así como que individual y a mí, I, I, I don't like it because okay. that is the, the purpose of it. Lo siento, Morena. No era porque no, no le estuviera escuchando, era por los niños. Pero ya no, no, aquí. no, pero cuando, uh -huh, when you need something extra, tell me because I understand. Um, uh -huh, so what ¿Cuál número? ¿Qué está diciendo? ¿Qué está diciendo? ¿Qué está diciendo? Okay. Yeah, thank you, thank you. All right. So all right. So let's let's let me hear you, all right? Let's work on this. Okay. Okay. Entonces en el número cinco vamos, en el number five. My friend is yes. me quedé perdido. Que vaya. Vamos a volver. Porque como él dijo superlatives, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Hay que ponerle IST a todas. Eso estaba buscando. Entonces, the, this exercise, all of this? No. Sí, estoy buscando en internet. But, but we cannot say my friend is the is tallest than me. We have to say my friend is taller than me. We cannot say with the EST. Pero y entonces, ¿por qué dijo los superlativos? Ah, pero son los menos. Ah, okay. For okay, example, okay, okay, okay. for example, the number six, the wall is the biggest animal in ah, the world. Because en la we, roca, okay? We, ha, la we roca. are not we are not compare la roca with another actor, or we not compare the wall with another animal. Thanks, Alejandro. You are the best. Thank you, man. All right. Okay. <laughs> okay. So how are you doing here, guys? Excuse me. How are you doing here? Come on. Uh, in the second, in the second exercise. All right, awesome. Thank you. Um. 
Jaime. Yes. Noise. Is noise. Noise. More noisy. More noisy. ¿Verdad? Mm. Eh, no, no, no le escucho bien. Tiene cua, eh, cuántas eh, pronunciaciones. Quiero, quiero ver. Y está ¿Cuánta? en el en el en el en el ejercicio 2. Yes. Quiero ver si me puedo subir algo de espacio en esta calle que hay. Ese es el uno fue Hertz, Lucy. ¿Cuál es que me dice? Noise. Noise. Ah, noise. Ey, esa palabra sí, no. Eso creo que es la Right. Does it sound like it is a small adjective or a, or a long adjective? Suena como que es un small adjective or long adjective? Mm. For me? No, no adjective. It sounds like it is a small adjective, right? So follow the rules for the, for small adjectives. For me, it's short adjective. Yes, it is a short one, yes. Ladies okay. and gentlemen, well, actually, just gentlemen. Uh, did you finish? <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> yes, teacher. Right, so the other guys have not finished. It's kind of difficult for them. So I'm going to split you up so you can go ahead and help them, okay? Because they have... They have, you know, they're struggling a little bit, okay? So I'm going to send you to one of the okay. groups so you can help them with questions, right? Don't give them the answers. Just help them with whatever questions they have. And that's it, okay? Let me send you over there right now. Okay. Okay, teacher. Thank you. <coughs> so let's join. Hi. Hi. Silvia, welcome to this welcome. amazing group. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yes, we are going to do some exercise. Mm. Eleven exercise, but we are going to do it in number nine. I don't know. Margarita is the most intelligent. The most intelligent. Yes. Margarita. Student in the school. Here is very quiet. So. Oh, Jaime, you, your your partner is not here. Oh, that's why. Jaime is is driving, guys. So we're gonna go back now. Okay. Okay. Okay, very good. So guys, welcome back. So let's take a look at the answers here, right? So there are some um, superlatives with, with between here, all right? So let's go over those superlatives together, all right? So Sandy is, what's the answer here, Sandy is? Yes, number one. Short or long adjective, what do you think? Sand is what? Hello, guys. Girls. Teener. Teener. Sandy is thinner. Very good. Dan Tamara. All right. Dan Tamara. Okay. Very good. All 
All right, so then we got Sandy Stainer, then Tamara. All right, French is more difficult. More difficult, right? More than difficult. English. The Roque is stronger. Is the strongest. We're going to talk about this right now, okay? Actor in Hollywood. Mm -hmm. Is the strongest actor in Hollywood. Mm -hmm. All right, Harry Potter books are? More interesting. More interesting, right? Than the Jungle Book, for sure. My friend is? Taller. 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 The whale is? The biggest. The biggest. The biggest. Amelia is? Most clever? Cle clever, clever. 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 The most cleverest. clever. Or we could say that both are correct. The cleverest. All right. Both of them would be correct. You say the cleverest student in the class. Phineas and Ferb are? Funnier. Funnier. Funnier, right? And yeah, that is a lie. Maximum and, and, and me. Uh, <laughs> Think that is a, a lie. <laughs> so you can say funnier than Phineas and Ferb. <laughs> so you could say, hey, that's that's actually a good example. How would you make this? If you actually think that that Garfield and I agree, I prefer Garfield because I'm I'm from the '90s. So, um, so th this is actually true, true. You know, how would you say this in negative form? You know, that if you thought that Garfield is in fact funnier than Phineas and Ferb, how would you how would you say it? Less. I Are think we can say uh-huh. Yes, I'm sorry. Yeah, do you think you can say you can say what? Are not funnier than Garfield. So you can say are not funnier than Garfield, right? So yeah, you can say are not funnier very good. I like that. Or you can say, and this is another good one, right? Are less funny. <laughs> All right. Now, when you use less, guys, it doesn't matter. This is a very good example. When you use less, it doesn't matter if it is a long adjective or a small adjective. The answer will always be less. All right. Less funny, less intelligent, less thin, less difficult, less strong. Got it? So very good. So you can say that, right? Margarita Margarita is? More intelligent. More intelligent. More intelligent, okay? What if you wanted to say the, you know, the opposite? Uh, a student in the class uh, must. The most, right? For, so for maximum. Uh, exactly. mm -hmm. The most. The mm -hmm. most. The most mm -hmm. intelligent, right? Mm -hmm. Very good. Love is? More important. More important, right? Oh. Than money. All right, John is? More generous. More generous. Mm, the most. The, mm. most, the, right? most, the most, most generous. generous. The most, uh-huh. Very good, very good, right? Now, what if you wanted to say the opposite? We would say? The less. No. Love is less important. <laughs> No, 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 no. <laughs> that is a reality, right? <laughs> yes. Love is less important than him. So no, I I, I uh, erased everything. I was going to say here, if you wanted to say something like that, right, we would say love is uh, less important. Or we could say love is... Um, Isn't. Well, love isn't, right? Or love is is not uh -huh. more important, right? But I was talking about, I was talking about the last one. John is, and then we got the most generous, right? But what if we wanted to say that in negative? How would you say it? Easy, just add not the most generous. It's not the most, though. Or you could say, or you could say. Less. This is what we're going to, no, the least. Generous. At least. Okay. Uh -huh. 
right? And that is, you know, how you can answer those questions, right? So very good job. So in the next one, right, we were not doing the superlative part yet, although the previous exercise has had it. Exercise had it. So in the next example we got here, uh, let's go with hard, right? Hard is considered a small adjective. So what would be the comparative? Harder. All right, that would be harder, right? What about busy? Busier. Busier, right? What about noisy? Noisier. Noisier, right? Very well. What about difficult? More difficult. More difficult. What about comfortable? More, More comfortable. Comfortable. Yeah. More comfortable. Comfortable, right? Yeah. About good. Better. Better. What about big. Bigger. 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 What about exciting? More exciting. More exciting. More exciting. More exciting. Right? What about interesting? More interesting. More interesting. More interesting. Interesting, right? What about boring? More, More boring. boring. What about friendly? More, More friendly. friendly. Friendlier. More friendly or friendlier? Friendlier. Yes. Teacher. Tell me. Comfortable is long adjective. Yes. Oh, I forgot the word more. Yes. You're right. Thank you. All right. So more. Right. More comfortable. All right. Very good. So <clears throat> the last part that we're going to learn from comparatives is the negative side of it. Right. <clears throat> so, for example, if you go back to, you know, short adjectives versus. All right, hold on. So if you go to, hold on, hold on, hold on. If you go to short adjectives versus long adjectives, here, I'd like to ask you, what if we want to say something like uh, short, right? The word short and negative, okay? We would say less. We would need to add the word less. Right. What about intelligent? Is that a, a short or long adjective? Intelligent is short or long, guys. Uh, less is for short or, or for uh, long adjective. Less I interesting. Mean, okay. So we're gonna say. Right. The least intelligent. Mm -hmm. All right. We are going to say the same thing. So for both long and short adjectives, we have we are going to use less, okay? For both of them. All right. So what other so 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 now what I want to explain here is the fact that whatever whatever um whatever adjective that we have, regardless if it is short or long, we need to use, we need to use the, um, the word less, okay? I have a question. Tell me. In superlative and when use long adjectives, we write least, the least or, yes. or less. You're going to say the least. Okay, thanks. Yes. Yeah, we're going to say the least. All right. All right. So that's for superlatives, right? But we're not talking about superlatives yet. Okay. So, guys, we what other adjectives do we have? Give me adjectives, guys, real quick. Give me adjectives. What other adjectives do we have? Beautiful. Beautiful. Right? Short, short, short. Short. Uh, short. Ah. So we got, we got, oh, okay. Beautiful. Yeah. So we got beautiful, right? So we got beautiful. What other adjectives do we have? We got in, in short, you can you can write bad. Bad, right? Okay, so in this case, what would be you know boring? Boring, right? So we got boring. Would be, which would be a, a long one, a long one, right? Um, so we got 
boring. And then we got what? I don't know. Give me another short. Maybe. Uh, um, clean. Clean, right? Clean. Very good. So we got clean. All right. Sad. So, sad. Okay. We got sad. Okay. So for all these exercises, for all these examples, we are going to use less. So we say less bad, less clean, less sad, etc. We're going to say less beautiful, right? Less and less here. Okay, we're gonna say them. We're gonna we're gonna use both. Okay, all right, very good. So that is if you want to do it in negative form, right? So now let's talk about um, let's talk about the part where we compare three or more things. Okay, so where we have to compare three or more things. We call that a superlative. How do we call it? How do we call it, ladies and gentlemen? We call it a superlative, right? Superlative. Exactly. Super superlative. Super superlative, right? Now, a superlative, guys, is basically, you know, we're comparing one thing versus everything else. For example, I am the oldest boy in the class, meaning that there is nobody who is older than him, right? Uh, Susan is the most beautiful girl for me, right? So that means that from, I don't know how many girls do we have in the world? Let's say that we have like, probably like five billion, five billion uh, girls in the world. So from, from all the 5 billion girls in the world, this person considers that girl to be the most beautiful, all right? So that's so we're comparing how many things, guys? We're comparing three or more things. We're comparing three or more things, you know, um, and that more things is, is like billions, right? So with superlatives, we are gonna use two things. For short adjectives, right? So for short adjectives, we are going to say, we're going to say, give me one, Let the, the word short, right? We're going to say shortest. I want you to notice that we are going to use EST at the end most of the times, right? Give me another one that is short. Biggest. Big, right? So we're going to say big. That would be biggest, right? Now we're gonna have to double this like this, biggest, right? Shortest, okay, what else? Funniest. Okay, funniest, right? <clears throat> Very good, and we're missing something here. When we talk about adjectives like that, we're missing something else here. We're gonna use the word da, we're always gonna use this, okay? Because we're being specific. So you're gonna say the shortest, right? You're gonna say the biggest. You're gonna say the funniest. Okay, so on and so forth. And here, you're gonna say what do you think? The, the most. The most, exactly. Right? So you're going to say the most. The most intelligent. The most. The most adequate. What else? The most interesting. The most important. Okay, you're going to say the most important. What about the word? What about the adjective fun? Fun as an adjective. The most fun. All right. So we got the most fun.
fun, right? So over here, we got the most fun. Exactly. Even though, guys, it sounds like a short adjective, right? But that's an exception. What about funny? What are we going to use for funny? The funniest. Mm. Correct. We're going to use the funniest, okay? Repeat, guys, the funniest. The funniest. Right? So this, this one is something that makes you laugh, right? The other one, something that entertains you, right? So we're gonna, oh, we got, we already got the funniest here, all right? So we got the funniest, okay? So basically, this is like comparing, let's talk about Cheyenne, all right? We have not talked about Cheyenne. So, uh, so, you know, Cheyenne, let's say that Cheyenne is singing, right? I don't know, that's, that's how he sings, okay? So, anyways, so he is one singer, all right, that he's one of, like, a lot of singers, okay? So, we got some other singers, right, over here, right, and we got, let's say that we have, you know, we have, like, a billion singers, right? So, who is... My question is, who is the best singer? And now we're going to use the best, right? Because this is the superlative for 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 um, bet for, for uh, good, okay? For good, okay. So who is the best singer? And you're going to say Cheyenne, right? Cheyenne is the best, the best singer, right? And this right here, the superlative would be the best. So that means that, you know, out of the three of them, only him is the best, right? So let's see, guys. Who is the, fa you know, yeah, what is the fastest animal in the world? So we're going to so we're gonna compare, compare the world. But I need to, to speak in English because I don't know what a leopardo is. The, the leopardo is the, is the... What is a leopardo? Because that's not in English. Leopardo, leopardo. How do you say that in English? Leopardo. Well. No. All right. Anyways, how do you say that in English, guys? How do you call that animal? Leopard. Leopard. A cheetah, right? Cheetah. Uh, right? It's a cheetah or a puma, right? Mm -hmm. So, all right, so cheetah, right? So you can say, you can say, right, that you got a cheetah, right? It's the must. <laughs> this looks like, like a pig, <laughs> right? But anyway, so we got, you know, we got, we got a cheetah, right? <laughs> it looks like a pig. Like a raccoon. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, right? So we're comparing the cheetah versus all the cheetahs in the world, you see? All the all animals, right? Because we're comparing all animals. All right? So we can say the fastest animal in the world, see the fastest animal in the world is the cheetah, right? Yeah. Exactly. Fast, the fastest, right? Because why are we saying fastest and not the most fast? Because uh, we compare with all animals in the world. Exactly. No, no. Yeah, yeah, of course, right? No, but where, why am I, I'm sorry. My question is, I did not formulate that question well enough. No, my question, I'm going to say it again. My question is, why are we saying the fastest and not the most fast? Uh, because it's a, because short it's a short adjective. It's a short adjective. Because it's a short adjective, exactly. Right? Because it's a short adjective. That is correct, my dudes, okay? 
Very good. Very good. Any questions so far? Or is it clear as vodka petrol 3000% alcohol on, on a Saturday? It's clear. Clear? Did you understand everything I said? Les pregunté si estaba todo claro como vodka yes. petrol con 3000% de alcohol en un sábado. Yes. 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 Don't drink, okay? Ya saben, no, no tomen, pero si toman, inviten. All right, very good. So let's go back here. Don't drive. Don't drive, right? Don't drive, right? So now we can say, you know, we can compare the three or more things here. All right. So now that you know, let's complete this part, right? O ya completaron esa parte. Dije que no la completaron, pero ya la completaron. No. No, okay. Only friendly. Okay, all right. So you're going to complete this part now. But I want you to do two things. You're gonna give me, you're gonna give me a positive sentence and a negative sentence, okay? And not a negative one, maybe not a negative one, but you can use the positive, the, the opposite of of the most. What is the opposite of the most? The least. The less. Exactly. So you're gonna give me right a sen a sentence, right? Una oración completa, no una. No, no solo la palabra, right? No solo el adjetivo. So you're going to give me one um, with saying the least and one saying the most or or EST, right? Got it? So you're going to give me one and one, one with least and one with the most or EST. Is that clear? ¿Está claro? Ask, guys, right? Make mistakes, please, right? Quiero que todos cometan errores. So, so you can ask me, right? So, todos entendimos? ¿Qué vamos a hacer ahorita? Yes. Yes. Okay. All right. So, sentence, right? Oraciones, no? No solo la palabrita, oraciones, right? Let's go. So you can get vocabulary. I'm gonna split you up again. You know what? Let's make... Uh, yeah, let's make two groups, guys. I think. No, no, we have more people now. We're gonna make three. Richard, how many sentences? Van a hacer una. Guys, let's go. All right, van a hacer una con the least y una con the most o EST. Okay? Entonces van a hacer dos oraciones por cada adjetivo que tienen acá, okay? Okay. All right, very good. Thank you. Let's go. Hi, Alejandro. Huh? Hi, and goodbye. <laughs> and goodbye? <laughs> Why? I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened to my partner. That... <laughs> Hi, and goodbye. Wow, okay. <laughs> <laughs> he's thing. gone. Yeah, uh, yeah, he's gone now. Yeah, he, he, left, he left the group. <laughs> Yes. All right, let's start working, guys and girls. Okay. One. Sí. There's gonna be two in, in in total, right? Two of them for each adjective. Una una, una con the most or ESD, la otra con the least. Right? The least is negative, teacher. Yes. Okay. Okay. And so we are start with the first, right? Heart. 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 Mm -hmm. Heart.
ओके भाई Do you have the idea of yes. the first? Mm. It's hard. The rock. Harder. The rock. I, I was I was thinking in the rock because uh, the stone. Ah, the stone. The stone. Oh, stone. <laughs> uh -huh. the, the stone, stone is is hard hard hardest. No, is. Uh huh. Is the least. Oh, no, it's the, the least. It's hard is a short adjective. Uh, mm -hmm. But, uh, but is hard, hardest. Hardest, exactly. With, this is, okay. We are going to do the first one, the positive, right? And the other one, negative. Mm -hmm. Negative and positive. Okay. First, the, the positive form. The stone is the hardest. The stone in the hardest, then. Okay. Then. Then. Paper. Mm, the paper. Plastic. It's, it's Plastic could be. A stump, paper, and scissor. <laughs> okay. I'll be rock, paper, scissors. <laughs> scissor. <laughs> scissor. A paper, scissor, okay. Uh -huh. And the negative. <laughs> The paper. Mm -hmm. The paper is the least is the hard. Least hard than stone. Okay. Okay. Busy. Okay. Busy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The doctor or oh, a oh, surgeon. Eh? Surgeon. Mm -hmm. Okay. The surgeon. Mm -hmm. Surgeon. Is the PCS 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 done then all doctor in the hospital. Okay. Negative four. Mm -hmm. The doctor. The doctor. The doctors. Are. Are. The list. For the doctor. Mm -hmm. The list. The list. BC. Dan surgeon. Remember that we're not comparing two things, right? So you can say the doctor is the least busy of all doctors. So you can say the doctor is the least busy in the world. You're not ah, okay. comparing two things. You cannot say the that. world. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. I think yeah. the world. Mm -hmm. Tengo uno antes que este. Ah, intermedio. Hello. This is me. You are looking for. <laughs> All right, how are you doing, ladies and gentlemen? <laughs> Good. No questions yet. <laughs> no questions yet. Okay. <laughs> okay. 
longer work. What's up, guys? How are you doing? Um, noisy. 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 Okay. My dog. My dog. Is. Is. Noisy. <laughs> Noisiest. Noisiest. In the. Noisiest. In the neighbor. In the my in my uh -huh, neighborhood. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Neighborhood. In my neighborhood. Uh -huh. In my neighborhood. Okay. With less, with least. Mm -hmm. um. Right, the least, right? Let's go back, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. 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 Thank you. Okay. All right. All right. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. All right. So we're waiting for everybody else. All right. Okay. The... Right. See. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yes. 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 What's up, guys? What's up? All right. So let's talk about. All right. So it's time, right? So on Monday, because tomorrow we're not gonna have a class, of course. So on Monday, we're gonna take a look at the different types of um, superlatives that we got from your examples. Remember, because I saw some of you guys, you were comparing two things. You cannot use superlatives to compare two things only, okay? You need to say, it's like saying, el mejor de algo, okay? So that's, you don't say, you don't say, you know, uh, uh, él es el mejor futbolista que tu hermano, right? You don't say it like that, right? Say el mejor futbolista del mundo, right? And then you say, sí. no, I'm kidding. I don't watch soccer, so <laughs> I'm not a fan of Ronaldo, right? But but yeah, um, so we're gonna see the examples on Monday, guys. Okay, hope you learned anything, something new today, okay. and uh, enjoy your weekend. Okay, just saben, diviértanse, right? And uh, have a great weekend, guys. Thank you. Thank you for joining. Thank you so much. Have a good weekend. Thank bye bye. Thank you so much. Thank you. Good night.